We're looking into a Johnson County construction project that's creating unforeseen problems for dozens of homeowners. Those who live along Whiteland Road say hundreds of cars every day are damaging their yards and occupying their driveways to turn around after ignoring construction barricades. RTV6's Chance Walser joins us live in Whiteland now with more on this issue. Chance? If you haven't driven in this area, you can picture it. Right off 65 is the Whiteland Road exit. You're almost immediately met by these barricades. About a half a mile beyond this on Whiteland Road, a dozen houses and eventually a dead end. These barricades obviously in place to warn drivers about that dead end, but they are not exactly effective. The sign is easy to read, but for some, hard to follow. Just totally disregarded the, the signage that the engineers have set forth on this project. Whiteland Road is closed at Graham Road, while crews work to put in a roundabout. Motorists, unaware of the detours or unwilling to follow them, are driving past the warning signs, only to run out of road a few hundred yards later. One day we counted about 200. 200 vehicles using Emily Wood's yard and driveway to turn around. Her lawn is tore up, and she and her neighbors are fed up. One nearby property is now lined with bricks. Another homeowner thought their handcrafted sign might help. Road closed ahead, local traffic only, or in their terms, you can't get through. I know our police chief has been out here pretty aggressively dealing with it, writing, uh, excuse me, warning tickets and uh, tickets. Police were not here this afternoon when this driver went as far as to take down the barricade before driving on. The woods have pictures of not cars, but semi trucks getting to the dead end with no ability to about face. He looks like he's stuck there. He huh? is. That's right there. Emily admits she took some satisfaction in watching a box truck get stuck while trying to turn around. A tow truck had to come to the rescue. Went right straight across the road, and then it had to be hung up. In your head a little bit, were you saying serves you right? Yes, I did. For those frustrated with this issue, town officials say they will continue to have an added police presence out here for the duration of this project. And speaking of that, some good news town officials say they say at least this project is short term, scheduled to wrap up mid June. Live in Whiteland tonight, Chance Walser, RTV6.